Ang pag-multiply ng rational expressions ay para rin pag-multiply ng fractions. So, kung meron tayong A over B at imu-multiply natin siya by C over D, kailangan nyo lang i-multiply si A, C, at saka si B at D para mag-multiply ng fraction. At gagamitin natin itong simple rule na yan ng pag-multiply ng fraction sa rational expression. So, for number 1, I have X over Y times 2M over M all over n. So, pag multiply nitong fraction na to, I will simply multiply x to 2m. So, meron akong 2xm at y to n kaya meron akong yn. So, in this um, rational expression, hindi ko na kayang isimplify yung rational expression because ito na yung simplest form. So, ito na yung answer nyo sa pag multiply ng rational expression. Now, for number 2, I have 3x over 2y times 7c all over 8z. So, sa pag-multiply nyan, multiply ko yung mga coefficients and then yung mga variables naman, e pagdidikitin ko lang or kung magkapareha sila, pagsasamayin ko siya using laws of exponents. So, for 3x times 7, 7c, 3 times 7 is 21, xc, 2y times 8z, multiply ko si coefficient, so I have 16yz. Now, yung 21 over 16 ko ay hindi ko na pwedeng isimplify kasi yan ay simplest form niya. Tapos naman, itong aking x, c, at y, z, eh wala rin akong pwedeng isimplify. So, ganyan yung pag- So, mga examples naman natin ito, i-multiply naman natin yung mga rational expressions na kung mapapansin nyo, ay eh mas complex kesa doon sa mga nauna kong examples. So, sa number 1, I have 2x squared all over 3y to the 5th times 5x all over y cubed. Yung principle niya is parehas din. Mumultiply nyo yung nasa taas, tapos mumultiply nyo yung nasa baba. So, 2x squared times 5x is 2 times 5, which is 10. Tapos, x squared times x will be x cubed. Tandaan nyo na ang law of exponent ay kailangan gamitin kapag ka nag-multiply tayo ng rational expressions. So, pag nag-multiply kayo ng exponent, yung mga exponents nyo ay i-add nyo, hindi nyo siya i-multiply. Kaya meron kong 10x raised to 3. Sa so denominator naman, 3 times 1 is 3. Tapos, i-add ko yung mga y's ko, 5 plus 3 is 8. So, meron akong 10x cubed all over 3y to the 8. Now, bago nyo tapusin yung answer nyo, kailangan tingnan nyo muna kung simplified yung expressions nyo. In this case, simplest form naman siya kasi wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel. So, always apply the laws of exponents when you are dealing with multiplication of rational expression. Now, for number 2, imumultiply ko yung first term ko with my second term. 2 times 6 is 12. m squared times m is m cubed. Tapos h squared. Tapos sa baba naman, 3 times 4 is 12, y to the 5th times y squared is y to the 7th. Now, ito yung sinasabi ko na kailangan yung i-simplify yung rational expression nyo bago nyo siya e1. So dito, pwede ko pang i-simplify sa 12 over 12 kasi makakancel siya. Tapos, ang magiging final answer ko will be m cubed h squared all over y to the 7th na kung saan wala na akong pwedeng i-cancel. So ito na yung simplest form ng rational expression ko. At for number 3, 5 times 6 is 30, x to the 5th times y to the 5th is x to the 5th, y to the 5th, tapos 3 times 2 equal to 6, y squared times x is y squared x. Now, hindi pa ito yung final answer ko kasi pwede kong isimplify yung coefficient at saka yung mga variables ko. 60 divided by 3 will give me 5. Tapos, pwede akong mag-subtract ng mga exponents kasi magkakapareha sila ng variable. So, yung x's ko, 5 minus 1 will be 4. Tapos, 5 minus 2 will be 3. So, ito yung aking simplest form. So, tandaan, always simplify your rational expression when you're dealing with these equations or these expressions. Now, kung marunong kayong mag-multiply ng rational expression, marunong din dapat kayong mag-divide ng rational expression. Kasi may isa lang step na pagkakaiba doon sa pag-multiply at pag-divide. So, kung meron tayong A over B divided by C over D, kailangan lang natin gawin is kopyahin yung first factor, which is A over B. Tapos kunin mo yung reciprocal ng second um, fraction mo will be D over C. Tapos, we will proceed to multiplication. So, ang multiplication naman is multiply across. So, A times D is AD, tapos B times C is BC. So, i-apply natin itong simple rule ng pag-divide ng fraction dito sa rational expression. Kung meron akong X over Y divided by 2M over Y squared, syempre, hindi ko naman siya agad-agad na i-multiply across kasi ang operation na hinihingi is division. So, ang step na gagawin ko is kukopyahin ko yung first term, 
change ko yung division sign into multiplication sign. At ang pinakamahalaga, e eh, kunin nyo yung reciprocal ng second um, fraction. So, meron akong y squared all over 2m. Now, since multiplication na siya, tulad ng ginawa natin sa mga pre previous examples, multiply across. x times y squared is xy squared, and y times 2m is 2my. Now, itong answer ko na to, pwede ko pang simplify kasi yung y ko, eh, pwede ko pang i-cancel. So, 2 minus 1 is giving me 1, kaya ang final answer ko will be xy all over 2m. So, para rin lang nag-multiply ng fractions. Bago nyo iwan yung sagot nyo, kailangan i-check nyo muna kung siya ay simplified expression. For number 2, meron na naman tayong division of rational expression. So, copy the first uh, fraction, change division into multiplication, and then flip your second um, fraction. So, 15z squared all over x to the fifth will be x to the fifth all over 15z squared. And then you'll proceed to multiplication. So 5x squared times x to the fifth is 5x to the seventh. z to the fifth times 15z squared will be 15z to the seventh. And in this case, hindi natin simplify yung mga variables, pero simplify natin yung coefficient. So ang final answer mo will be x raised to the seventh all over 3z to the seventh. 